What are all those bodies? What the f where did those come from? <laughs> I, I need to space them, I guess. Oh well. Welcome back, folks. We're continuing with Space Haven Alpha 6 on the HSS Xanthib and the core, our two ships. Tore down these double bunks, or I'm in the process of doing so, and built single beds so people will be a little bit more comfortable going forward on each shift. And I'll catch you in a few minutes while I uh, tear this ship apart. There we go. <laughs> I got to get out of this area. I really have to get out. Don't think there's much else to transfer besides those. There's, there's not much. I just need people to do things. I really need a second shuttle because apparently this is just getting a little overwhelming. I got to at least I'll start moving that shit. I do want the energy scrap. Okay, we have other guys. Nothing I want. What do you got? You got water. I will need that. So the core. They've got the money, so just buy it. As soon as this is transferred, we'll be ready to rock. Like this is waiting for a full shuttle. That that's a problem. We need to move this. So there's a solar panel. I can move this. I can move the energy turret. Let's do well, would it be better to put a shuttle over here? Alright, we're just about done cleaning up that that uh the Doom Kitty. The SGS Doom Kitty. Hopefully that's not the Doom Kitty from our previous uh, RimWorld Royalty playthrough with the tribe that just came out the other day. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're just about done with this. I've decided to build a second shuttle because I'm getting... My logistics is getting overwhelmed. Moving stuff between ships and things. So let's build a craft. Let's go ahead and build some more power. I don't need much. Put that, I can't put it in here. I guess we'll put it right there. I'll cover more. Should cover that just fine. This way I think we'll be able to move stuff a lot quicker. I think this trade's dorked up because the, the ship's like on autopilot. That's a problem, right? Ships are stuck on autopilot. Their guys will just, uh, the ship will be there. It'll want to trade, but they can't do anything. I mean, theoretically, I could fight them and smoke them. But then I'd be declaring war on their entire faction. Not really something I want to do in this playthrough just yet. All right, let's link this up to that node. It's got juice, good. So we're just waiting on a couple of items, it looks like. Yeah, just two circuit boards. Am I not making them? Let's go ahead and, I guess, pause this. Where do I make those? Not there. It's mostly scrap, I think. And that's all getting done. It's just we have one guy or two. One guy, I think, that does industry. Maybe two. Two. One's on the other ship. How are we doing here? Just about done? Yeah, those energy rods are the main thing I care about right now. Always need energy rods and water. <laughs> water is a problem over here. I may end up putting another water refiner over here.
Uh, hanging out over here, I guess. Just chilling out. All right, is that all moved? It would seem so. So, let's get ready to jump. We shouldn't lose anything because they're, well, we're waiting on that guy. Is Federico still over here? Oh my God, really? Okay. You need to get back over. As soon as you're back, we're going to get ready to jump. There we go. Should be fine now. Let's got to wait for the shift to end. What are you doing? Hurry up. Jeez. All right, shift change is happening. I like having a little bit of overlap on my shifts. It seems to work pretty good. All right, how are we doing? We're ready. Let's jump. All right, we're going to go mine all this stuff and then jump to the next system. It should be pretty quick. I'm just going to run through them real fast. Got plenty of miners. All right, I'm going to put you there and you there. We're going to deploy. We're going to put all that on the core because it has the refiner. The refined gentlemen. Meanwhile, they'll work on this. Hopefully get a couple of those bad boys. Bertas working on scrap. It's always good. I could optimize how I have these set up, but, you know, for now, I really don't care. It's not that big a deal. Eventually we'll have that done. Oh, dropping off some energy rods or something. Yeah, there we go. It's back up and running just barely. It's funny, even though that's producing, it's actually running out. They must be prioritizing moving rods over here. All right, well, that's done. So let's get ready to jump. And we're good. Shouldn't lose anybody there. Yeah, this will all go pretty quick. Plop you right there, and we'll put you right there. All right. Got to mine all this stuff. Move all that to the core. That can go to the core. And so can that. There we go. I need more people that can do industry. I think that's kind of the... The biggest blocker for me right now. I only have two guys out of, what, six I can do industry? This has not been a very lucky playthrough when it comes to getting personnel. <laughs> As has been noted by myself and others. Because I'm sitting at, what, episode nine, I think now? Ten? I don't know. Kind of recording some of these in batches. Uh, but yeah, that's like, what, almost ten hours of play? And I've only got two new crew members? Good. We're getting all the mining done, getting it delivered. The wave is moving freight. Cargo tech. <laughs> no quartermaster. Yeah, I need to move on to the next system so I get access to more guys to trade with so I can get stuff stockpiled. That's kind of where I'm where I'm sitting at. Need to retool this ship. Oh, I need another uh well, before I do that, I need to build another cryopod. Since Federico needs one. What are we lacking here? A couple of circuit boards, it looks like. Good, he's going to work on infra scrap. Start getting that backlog done. There's always more to do. Always more. I would like to move all my scrap to here. Let's look at it. So there's no food there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring scrap here. That way, they don't have to go very far for it. Yeah, I think that'd be 
pretty good. The finished goods I'm not worried about right now. All right, look at that. I do like that you can see the tasks sometimes. I think that's because I have available jobs going or highlighted. All right, we're almost done mining. I'm quite effective now at uh, stripping systems of goods. I'll turn that off for now. Power's fine. I, I should get a battery over here, but I'm not going to worry about that right right yet. Oh, shit. <laughs> Speak of the devil. As soon as I say it, there goes there goes power. It's got rolling brownouts now. Still got that going. I'm going to need power before I can do anything. All right, that's done. There we go. There's power again. Yeah, I do need a battery. Let's get that going. Because <laughs> uh, it might buy me enough time in between uh, shortages. Let's put that bad boy right here. And that should take care of a lot of our problems. I hope. Unless I'm reading the situation wrong. Good. Should be able to build it now. Give this a little bit, and then we'll jump here shortly. Actually, let's go ahead and jump now. While everybody's on their respective ships, <laughs> you don't have to worry about losing people. All right, that's good. Just waiting on them to dial in their hyperdrive. All right, let's force you guys on to nav. You're ready. You're ready. We're jumping. All right. We'll get the water and then we'll get out. It'd be nice if these ships, once their crew members died off and they're just empty husks, <laughs> they would all just turn into derelicts automatically. Probably a feature that's coming in the future, but for now, it's not quite there. All right. There we go. We'll get those three. Let's take you guys off nav. Let you do your thing. There we go. Got a little battery bank. I'll connect it up to the generator at least. Um, actually, no. Let's look at this again. We'll link it up to both the generator and that main power node. That way it should charge. We'll be good to go. That's done. He's got that. That should get mined very quickly. Make sure there is a job there. Yeah. <laughs> I turned it off earlier because I didn't want him sitting there just looking like an idiot. Okay, right, we're getting some stuff moved. Nobody's mining that yet. That's very strange. Why not? or prioritizing industry and making rods, which is, you know, generally fine. Why is nobody mining that? Let's try that again. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's no, no oxygen back there, so we're good. Good. We're getting some uh, getting some rods built. That's just not continuous, so we'll keep moving it. I guess we'll try moving it over there. I don't know. Hmm. We'll move it over here for now because it's. Seems to be acting weird. I guess we're waiting for them to wake up for now. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, well, they're focusing on moving stuff. I have all the scrap here, so it'll be a quick trip back and forth. Shift change. There we go. Tend to the plants. That's good because we need the food, which is empty right now. Very strange. We were doing really good with food production. Now we're a little lacking. Should make a grow ship where that's all they do. Nothing but food. Food and water. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't know what the deal is. Why is nobody doing this? I'm very confused. Like they're right there. Oh, there we go. Fine. Just took me uh, talking about him, I guess. All right, that's that. And let's get ready to jump here shortly. And jump into the new system. Are we ready? No. Because that shuttle wants to disobey orders, apparently. Come on. Come on. Dock with the station. There we go. Now we can jump. I do like that they continue working even while they're jumping. I think that's really cool. Alright. Time to make the big old jump. Doesn't he have one? Why is he on that ship? <sighs> Allegedly, there's no penalty for this yet. I don't really want to test it. Let me let me drop in here real quick. Let's we'll see what the major malfunction is. We have one for each. Why why does he not have it? Just deploy. Is he on the wrong ship? He is on the wrong ship, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he was on the wrong ship. What is he doing over there? Let me change this yet again. <laughs> no sleeping. No rest on that ship. You better get back to your mining ship. There we go. There we go. I guess he got stranded over there for a little bit. Like we just need to process things and get him off of this ship. I think that's the problem. All right, what's the major malfunction? Why are you guys not ready? Because you're sleeping? Sleeping on the job. Jeez. Get up. Get to work. And we're jumping. Now we should be able to go to the new system. And see how it goes. Everybody's good. Let's go. All right, we're going to drop in and do a little trade with whoever this is. The Grendel. It's better than a Grendel. What do you have for me, Grendel? Oh, buddy. You got water. You got all kinds of stuff that I want. Primarily these. You have lots of them. Let's do it on the Xanthip. We've got money. We'll just buy that. Let's set another trade. Yeah, you got a lot of goodies that I want. Let's send that to the core. Um, I'll sell you some of the noble metals. How about that? How about that? Let's do one more trade. Uh... I'm just going to keep going with this because I really need the energy rods. This will at least stock me up for a while. I'll sell you two shotguns. We'll be good there. And I think that's all those. I'll take the water. It's cheap. I'll sell you one of these. All right. Good trades. Everybody can just do what they do. Uh, let me make sure that's off. You can get to work. Ch 
Shadow's got a lot of trading to do. This is going to be really good. This will, I think this will buffer us quite well going forward. Yeah, we're low on water. We're low on energy rods. I got it. I got it. We're going to remedy that. It'll be fine. We need to get the second shuttle up. Then we can do a lot more ferrying back and forth. Oh, we got a fire on the core. That's fine. There's no oxygen, so not a big deal. How are we doing on trades? Two more to go. While we're doing that, let's take a look at the system. Oh, very small. Packed quite well with minerals. Two derelicts. Three derelicts, actually. Okay, cool. Awesome. Oh, this trade is phenomenal. The Grendel. Saving our lives. Keeping this series afloat as we go forward into the wild, the darkness of space. One more trade left. Looks like it's done. Good deal. All right, look at that. All those energy rods on both ships. We've got a good buffer. Now we're building this up over here too. They actually have a lot of food. I wonder what's up with that. Are they just transferring everything over here? I hope not. What are the rules here? Yep, bring food here. I guess they're just eating it really fast. We'll figure it out. Now that we're not strapped for, uh, for energy rods and water, I think we'll be good to go. All the trades are done. Is everybody on their respective ships? It would appear no. Dude, you need to stop working over there. Like, I appreciate that he's covering other stuff, but for now, you really need to stop. All right, I need these two to get back to their other ship. Wave is open with logistics. I can appreciate that, but we need to get going. Wave is like the uh, quintessential handyman on the ships. It's quite nice. Oh my god, lady. Come on. Or dude. Go ahead and get off my ship. Go back to yours. We need to jump. All right. Set this up. Uh, let's go ahead and jump. Shuttle is docked. Good. Just waiting on people to wake up from their shift and get on navigation. Nav's ready there. How about you? Your nav's ready there. And we're going to jump. It's awesome. Man, I think we're actually, uh, we came out of that rut. <laughs> it was really rough there for a little bit. But I do like riding these waves of Bounty and uh, depravity. <laughs> all right, we're going to mine all those lovely metals. And then we're going to send uh, the dream team, the boarding party, Bertas and Lane, eventually. Got to see what they're doing. They're catching up on those. Good. All right, you two. Suit up. We got a ship to clear. Where is Lane? Oh, Lane, get back. I need you to get back here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. It's taking a sweet time. All right, Lane. You're drafted. You're going to get on board. And we're going to go sweep a ship and hopefully not die a horrible death. Whoa, two airlocks on this bad boy. It is a small derelict, so we'll see what's on here. And we're on. I could have done like a dual breach. That would have been pretty fun. Sweep back here. Oh, there's a hostile. First one down. It's a little atmosphere room. Getting the atmospherics right. Okay, nothing there because it's been blown away. Let's go clear this airlock and then we'll come through. Sweep to the rear of the aircraft, or spacecraft rather. 
Go get them credits. Oh, God. Really? Oh, my God. Look at all that money. And a data log. Should probably read some of those. Devs do put a lot of effort into that. The Rocinante. It's definitely a lot of overlap uh, between this game and fans of the Expanse, it seems. <laughs> like a transfer we're just going to move everything over to the xanthib for now because it's got more storage and we can figure it out then well, let's undraft you and we're going to get some salvage going i got time i don't think i saw any pirates on this in this system either okay rosinante what you got you got water i'll take it it's cheap yeah we'll buy it for these guys because they have all the food production right now We'll just buy it. We'll do another tray. Actually, no, we won't because you don't have any more. All right, cool. Where are there circuit boards on here? No, that's unfortunate. We'll get that from scrap eventually. I need to shuffle some of this crap off this ship. It's uh, a little, a little cramped. It's a little overweight. How's the mining going? It's getting done. It's almost done. Entirely. It's a smaller ship. It's pretty close, so it shouldn't take too long to really strip bare. Just sit here and watch this for a little bit and cut it out if we need to. Spare you guys the boring parts. I gotta say, this is the first ship I've seen, a derelict anyways, that uh, had two airlocks. Let's see what this ship has. I don't know who it is. Who that? It's probably one we've already dealt with. Some good resources here. We get some uh, energy crystals for making rods and the blobby thingies, <laughs> as they're called. It's a technical term. And there's the Grendel. They're back. How are they doing on there? Oh, they're on the shuttle. Okay. <laughs> Good. I like having a day and a night shift. I think that's really handy. It reduces the amount of birthing you need. And keeps things going at all times. You don't just have like wasted time. Let's see. Do they have anything new? That would be a negative. Well, they do have some of these. I'm going to go ahead and buy some. I cannot buy it outright. I can sell them some blobby stuff. Okay, there we go. Trade needs to happen, and then we can build our second shuttle, and I think this will speed up a lot of things. Here comes somebody else. So what is going on here? How are these growing? Good. They're growing okay. Untended penalty. So we have a lack of people doing the actual tending. They're not tendies. They're not chicken tendies. I warned my wife about uh about the green text about chicken tendies. I was like, she saw something about it, and uh, I was like, don't don't read it, don't don't do it. It's not worth it. And she did. She regretted it. we get it? I think it's done. Yeah. Look at that. We got two shuttles now. I think that'll free up a lot of a lot of efforts because like that was becoming a big bottleneck. All right. Who is this? It's the Rocinante. God damn. Almost crashed into me. Yeah, you don't have anything I need. I guess he's waiting to get loaded with stuff. It's quite good. We're getting caught up. Can do so much more. So much more room for activities. How's this doing? 
A couple more blocks to move and we'll be good. That is kind of a problem though, I guess. Uh, oh, good. He came over and picked that up too. Awesome. That's good to know. There goes the Grendel. Almost done with this and then we can get out of here. Actually, we are done with this. So, let's get ready to jump. Still, uh, the episode's early. Sling of that cargo. Look at him go. I could set one of these guys to a night shift, too. That way. Yeah. You got 24-hour coverage on this bad boy. All right. Get up. Get to work. We got to jump. And we're jumping. I guess I could have just used the fleet choice there. All right. We got some mining to do on the way to uh, a couple of derelicts. We'll see what happens. Dropping in. Three, two, one. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get these bad boys over here. Get people working. Let me take this off. Everybody can get caught up on tasks, moving things around, getting stuff done. Might reorganize this a little bit. Put that there. I'll free up some space here, and I can actually move some of this crap out of there. Maybe change what that room's purpose is. Make it into a big grow room. Repurpose all this for like I don't know, I don't know what <laughs> you got you got me something. I might do that. Make this a big grow room. That way we can really supply the uh, ships with food. Cause that's something we're kind of run low on. It seems like, or it's all going over here for some reason. start doing that let's move this solar panel put it back here move this can I move this turret let's move that bad boy uh, I don't really want to put it right there it'll block a lot of things um hmm hmm well, maybe not. We'll leave that for now. We'll figure that out later. That's a that's a future me problem. How are we doing on mining? Damn, that was fast. I like it. All right, we should be getting off here shortly. And then we'll get ready to jump for the next one. Let's get to navigating. Everybody's on board. Waiting on nav for the core. Let's go and bump that up to a priority. And we're jumping. Oh, I'm going to have to relink that up. The solar panel. I didn't do that. Whoops. Let's drop it and get this stuff. First thought that was the only ship I had for a second. I was like, oh boy. Oh boy. We'll send you over here and you over here. Split you up a little bit. Who is that? The week come in peace. What do you got? You got water. I like water. I'm just going to keep taking water because I like to learn from other people. Yeah, just buy it. I guess that's it. Okay. All this stuff is going to the core. All this stuff is going to the core. <laughs> Get to mining, people. There we go. Everybody can get to work. Get to moving freight. Do some trading. It'll be good. Oh, yeah. I got to relink this up. Link this up to that node. Find us a little bit of power couple of solar panels back here we got one up here i guess if you want to replace this big guy with nothing but solar panels it'll take like 12 of them to match that up but 
So I think they only provide like at best maybe five. I don't know. Who else just jumped in? Okay, they're becoming peace. Hey, the Perori. What you got for me? More water? I don't mind if I do. I'm just going to keep sending water to the Xanthip just because they are the primary food producers. So we'll trade them one whole block. It's not the best, most efficient trade. I know. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's okay to be a little less than perfectly efficient sometimes. Now, I could start moving this over here and then put a couple of weapon systems in there. That is an option. We might be getting, getting okay on this. And we'll see. How are we doing on water? We got 29 here, 34 here. We got a lot of water. We got a lot of energy energy rods. Michael's in uh, white suits again. <laughs> Good times. How are we doing on mining? That's almost done, I think. That one's almost done. Oh, well, it's got a while to go, but that one only has one more little patch of raw chemicals to deal with. Let me check my taskings over here. Cool. Gets a little, a little tough to pan over sometimes. That's set to go. Good. This one is still set to go. Good deal. Yeah, okay. That ship's over. Night shift is taken over from the other ship. Wish there was a way to just move over within the system instead of having to go to like hyperdrive jump. Just a little bit more mining to go. We're on day 170.6. <laughs> that's that's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. This playthrough has been lasting pretty good. I got over that really difficult initial start and then, uh, yeah, overcame it. Having help taking out the pirates there was quite good. Had four, what, five ships firing on that bad boy? Oh, he, he made a poor choice. Real poor choice. God, I just need this to finish up. Uh, who do we have coming in? The Cult of New Haven. Hmm. Good. Processing the raw chemicals. Looks like they're not short on anything, which is good. These guys are a little shorter on stuff. How are we doing on storage with them? Still pretty good. They process this stuff pretty quick, so they're constantly working it. Good. They got a delivery of something. And this is about done. The way come in peace has come back. I don't really have anything I need. Alright, that mining is on the last leg. And we can get out of here. What are we going to have dropping off? Are you picking somebody up? Yeah, having two shuttles I think is really good. What do you have? What goes in here? It looks like he dropped something off there. Maybe not. He's coming over here to eat. Okay. Well, let's get ready to jump. Let's get somebody on the task, and we're jumping. Getting a little more efficient with this process. Oh, there's so much stuff to mine here. I'm going to go out one, and then come back. That's a little better workflow. All right, let's flank this bad boy. Look at all them crystals. Good. They've already burned through all that. Let's turn that off so they can rest a little bit. There is an airlock on this ship. Good. Who do we have available? Should I send uh, the night crew? How's our schedule looking right now? 
Now nah, we'll wait for them to wake up. Because they're going to be tired by the time that comes around. Let's look at uh, tasks. So I may need him to bump up his uh, botany efforts. Federico is set to not do it. Oh, man. i got to fix that now. We'll put you on priority for those. That on that. I do need more people doing botany, though. More tending of crops, because clearly they're not all getting tended just yet. Yeah, just saw a little brown out over there. That ain't good. We're a little further away, so our energy production from solar is down a little. Yeah, I'll wait for these two to wake up, and then I'm going to send them off to go clear that ship while everybody rests. Means other jobs aren't going to be getting done, but that's fine. Oh, this is almost done. That was quick. That was super quick. Alright, they are up. So let's draft you two. I want you to fight on an empty stomach. <laughs> Damn it! These shuttles. Need you back, bro. Let's get in there. All right, we're going to send you in to clear this ship. Federico is going to draw first blood. Going to pop that cherry. Let's get after it. Man, this whole airlock was blown out. The nice thing is we can have this docked here and leave it there for now. And while we're doing that, the other shuttle can do all the ferrying back and forth. All right, nothing in the galley. Well, okay, there's money in the galley. Or data logs. Lots of money. I will always take more credits. All right. Federico did just take his first shot. Okay, there's a data log. Let's clear that. Let's go check this room real quick. All right, that's the bridge. Sweep this hallway, clear this room and this back room. I did see a hostel over here, so I'm going to be careful. Nothing in atmospherics. Time to breach. There he is. Nice. I think they both have shotguns. Last hostel. Clear them. There we go. We now own... Oh, wait. Well, that's weird. <laughs> I think we just traded with the Ferrari. Okay, okay, well, that was interesting. Let's get to transferring the goodies off here. Oh, look at all those energy rods. Nice. We're going to still focus on dropping that stuff off there. And we'll get to salvage because we got all these people. There's still our salvage ship for now. Scrapping stuff. Recycling, rather. Not scrapping. Good, we'll tear this. Tear the ship apart. How are we doing on this? We have tons of infra scrap. Maybe I need a second one. I just really need more people doing industry. That's that's the problem. The crew is usually the issue. Go ahead and clear this shuttle real quick. Or this derelict. Yeah, that's funny. That that's the same ship. I guess we know where all the ship names come from, right? Or if it'd almost be better to just blow this wall open. Might be quicker. I don't know. Get the second shuttle over here docked <laughs> to move freight. Good. Everybody's working. Next ship is uh, getting up. And that is full of scrap, isn't it? Yeah, it's got some excess stuff too, but it's all right. It'll get done. Does it still have all of its jobs? No, it doesn't. I'm going to leave this off because we're good on blocks for now. I'm going to save that, save those resources. We'll just focus on this, doing scrapping.
right, just a little bit left to do. Let's look at our, our stuff. So we got six shotguns on the uh, core and a pistol. This is a well-armed ship. Not much room to build on this. Uh, let's take a look at it. Let's look at the hole. Let's build the hole out. Yeah, there's not much room on here. I, mean, I could build out these wings as like turrets to shoot at stuff, but I don't really have the crew to man that or the power really at this point. How are we doing on this? How's our food doing? Skill penalty. Yeah, somebody's lacking skill. They're all tended. Tended. Okay, good. I think we fixed that problem because we had... Now we got them both doing botany. Just need to strip a little bit more off here. Really just move stuff for the most part. Once we have that moved off. Oh, six energy rods. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Now we're getting brownouts over here. We shouldn't be. It's just somebody hasn't delivered an energy rod to there. Got a traffic jam. What is the problem? Why don't you have energy rods? What is the deal? You have them. You're just not loading them. What are you doing? I think they can all do logistics. That shouldn't be a problem. Just need to move this crap. Or is my logistics overwhelmed over here? No, there's plenty of room. All right, we got four people going. Hopefully, no, you're going to the wrong ship. What are you doing? Get to work. Oh, yeah, we got five people over here now. Yeah, this is good. We can move a lot more people. This shouldn't take nearly as long as it used to. You really just need a lot of crew members that are able to move things. I'm still stripping some whole scrap, it looks like. It's funny. They can, they can rest on these derelicts if there's still furniture there, but then they scrap it and then they can't rest on it anymore. There's no brakes. Yeah, just a little bit more, like one more shift worth of work, and this will be done. Depending on the episode lengths, I may try to do one system per episode, get this moving a little faster. Uh, well, I guess not really moving faster, but more gives me more fluff to be able to cut out boring parts. That you guys don't really need to watch or want to watch. And uh, it just improved the videos overall. My editing is getting a little better. I'm taking a little more time with these episodes. Trying to get ahead. Refine my, my workflows. But if I can do one system per episode. Theoretically then that would leave us with. Quite a few episodes to spare. As long as I survive this and get to the end. It would probably be new. New alpha patches coming out anyways. So we'll see. We'll see what I can get done. I'm going to more of a thematic release schedule, which should already be in effect now, but Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing my standard games like this or RimWorld, more of the colony management style games. And, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm going to do turn-based games. I don't know what to do with Saturdays yet. That might be more of my bigger releases or Wednesdays. I don't know. We'll stick with the five days a week for now. Try to do five videos per week. Edit them a little better. Spend a little more time. Oh, hey, there's the MAS Paori. Or Perori, and there's the PCS Perori. It's funny. 
All right, I think this is done, right? Yeah, there's a couple more things to pick up. They'll get it. Yep, once they're done, then we'll get out of here and uh, go do the other derelict. Mine all those goodies that are in the next system. Well, the next planetoid. All right, good. They're about to get off. Everybody's back on their ships. Stuff's delivered. I think. Yeah, they're both here. Good. And we're ready to jump. Let's do it. There's nobody on nav. Okay, it's ready, I guess. Oh, he is on nav. Jumping. Oh, that's getting too heavy. We're gonna have to get another engine on that bad boy. Yeah. All right, we'll clear this, and then we'll get ready to go to the next system for the next episode. Dropping in. Let's see where all the stuff is concentrated. And deploy accordingly. All right, I'll put you right in the middle because you're going to do the bulk of the mining. I'll put you right next to that because you're going to be clearing that derelict. All right, all that's going to the core. All that's going to the core, and so is all that. Also, let's get you another engine, another hyperdrive. There we go. Now, that's a pretty big ship. Oh, that's going to be a little rough. This might be a more than twofer. May send in both shuttles on that. Let's do it. I'm going to draft them. Actually, first, let me do that. And then you two. Are you mining? I guess I'm not going to draft you. I'm going to let you do your thing. We'll send these two in to go do their little sweep. No, get your suit on. <coughs> Whew. Okay. We're on. I'm going to send you back here. Clear this side of it. Let everybody else do their thing. Smoked them right out the gate. around this side work the angles clearing rooms and buildings is in game of angles oh man the ship is like infested what do we got in here nothing Let's sweep to the right here clear this side of the ship real quick get some you dirty bugs Engine room, clear that boy. He's dead. Let's keep going. It's a pretty big ship. I'm hoping there's another crew member on here. We'll sweep as much as we can for now until they get a little too tired. Yeah, there's some money or data logs. A lot of money. I like it. Making me rich. All right, let's go clear this front end, which looks like the bridge. Oh, medical bay, but no crew, no cryopods. All right, well, we should be able to clear this pretty, pretty quickly. Let's sweep in here. That guy's down. Sweep this engine room. We'll come back this way. Probably run into that bug that we just saw. Yep, there he is. And he's down. The Black Betty. All right, nicely done. They're not even great at weapons, and they uh, swept the entire ship. That's a pretty big one, too. Let's get to transferring. Not that much here, but plenty of salvage. So we'll get that done. Get everybody on task. Turn that off. Wait. A lot of stuff that needs to get done. But they all need to wake up and get her done anyway, so there we go. <laughs> we need to do something with this. It's a little on the heavy side. Now that we'll have plenty of capacity on here, maybe I can move some more industry over. What would I move? What is this tank? 
This is better suited to be done over here where I'm, I've got scrapping going on. Unless I move my scrapping over there. That's not, not worth moving. I don't know. I don't know. I could move all my scrapping over there. Let's give them something else to do. If there's no uh, minerals to work on. I don't know. We'll see. Well, the Grendel just jumped in. Let's see what they've got for trade. Nothing I really care about. I could sell off. Let's see what we can sell off to them. That's what I really need to worry about. Uh, there's nothing I really want to sell. So, that's a negative. About to get that second engine going. That'll be good for the big jump. Really, that's not providing power? Huh. Okay. Let's fix that. There we go. I think I dismantled that a while ago when I was trying to get stuff. What are all those bodies? What the... F where did those come from? <laughs> I, I need to space them, I guess. Oh, well. I don't even know where those came from. I guess those are from the pirates and they've just been sitting there all along and I missed them. Oh well. <laughs> Stacking them bodies like sandbags. Get off my lawn. It's a great movie by the way, Gran Torino. I aspire to be Walt. Angry old, angry old veteran. <laughs> I'm well on my way. I'm getting there. I got the right mindset, at least. Yeah, having two shuttles is where it's at. Like, I could start another shuttle or another ship eventually. I need more crew members first. Like, six is barely cutting it for this. But my, my general idea is I want to turn this more into, like, a capital ship type kind of deal. Because it's big, right? It's got tons of space to build out. Keep punching the mic. Uh... But yeah, make it into more of a capital ship. So it's got crew quarters, but I want to load this thing up with guns and stuff and then be able to protect the rest of my fleet. And have them just focus on like one whole thing. So ship points aren't big. That's kind of the idea. What's not on the grid? Oh, this guy got finished. Or it didn't. It's about to be finished. I mean, in reality, this whole game is finished because it's made by fins, you know. <laughs> How we doing? Yeah, see, they'll, they'll go ahead and take a nap, take a little break out here, but then they'll go ahead and dismantle that chair and then complain about not being able to rest, being uncomfortable. Just find that funny. This series has gone far longer than I expected it to. I guess I have gotten better at the game. Like, I understand the core concepts a little better. I know what to prioritize, what to focus on, what not to, for that matter. I've considered making, like, uh, guide videos for this game. Just real quick, like, hey, here's how this system works. But, like, it, this early in alphas, it's really hard to do because things change so fast like entire systems will get scrapped or changed entirely so it's something you really have to think about get stuff moved that's good those transfers going still got water and stuff to move scrap to move I really need somebody that just only does industry, preferably somebody with a low accident rate. That'd be ideal. I could just crank through all this scrap because I've got a huge backlog of scrap. Like I could even get a second one, but I more need somebody to man it. I need some more storage in here. Really, 
planes moving stuff. Need people to come over here and get this done. This is more important right now. Oh, I think that's the problem. Let's clear that rule. Select all clear. Well, that was interesting. Uh, I guess because I had this set here, it basically set the whole ship, I think, to empty all food from here. And that's why it was all going over here. Well, that should fix itself. I hope. I hope. Let's look at this. Because uh, I probably clicked transfer. It's probably my fault. I do dumb things sometimes. But that's the beauty of this. Like, this is my whole point of doing videos like this. I don't want to just cut out all the stuff and make it seem like, oh, I make no mistakes. Zero deaths, as the, the meme goes, right? I want you to see my thought process. Because guess what? This is the stuff you're going to go through eventually. I want you to see me run into problems and go, okay, well, how do I solve this? And you'll see me make dumb mistakes and then correct those or not. And then I die and fail the series and then we start a new one, right? It's iterative. Games like uh, Battle Brothers, has a, it's really good. Because one, I mean, it's designed to be hard and you're going to have to fail combat and you have to realize when you need to retreat and not fight or when you need to abandon that guy you like that's on your team and be like, well, you're the sacrificial lamb, brother. The rest of us got to go. But like, I have an achievement on there that apparently only 4% of people on Steam have who have the game. And it's an achievement for failing 10 Iron Man campaigns. It rewards you for it, right? It's not about being able to save scum all the time and just get the best outcome. I think this makes for the best storytelling in these games. You get these really high highs and these really low lows and then coming the spaces in between them. That's transitional space. That's what makes for good stories. Like how do we, how do we overcome that adversity? There's my soapbox for the episode. <laughs> Still have nothing I want, Grendel. Gonna get Beowulf on you. What do we have left on here? Anything I really care about? Yeah, last thing I need is more infra scrap, so just leave that. I'll take the blocks. I'll take the other goodies. Still scrapping? Yeah, I'd rather you didn't. Just stop. Start hauling a little unasses system and get on with it. How are we doing? Is the Black Betty uh, stripped? It sure is. Is everybody back in their ships? Looks like it. Alright. Let's get ready to jump. Wait for that shuttle to come back. How's the food doing? Hey, there we go. Now we're getting food. Okay, good. I solved that problem. I should do a compilation on here of just cut out those chunks and go, here's problems I've run into. Here's things to fix them. Uh, okay, well, it's ready. It's ready. Let's jump. What is the problem? Why are we going to lose two, two crew? What's going on here? Oh, because that has not kicked in yet. There we go. Let's jump. Xanthib goes through water like nobody's business. All right, everything is stripped in this system, so we're going to go ahead and jump. This looks like a bigger system to me. All right, folks. Well, thanks for joining me, and we're going to jump here. And, uh, well, take it easy. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>